Hello. <clears throat> Today I'm going to talk about uh, the relationship between Wikimedia projects and education and specifically how Wikimedia projects can serve as digital education environments. The short version of this is everything's connected and every connection or missing link can serve as a learning opportunity or teaching moment. Okay, structure of the presentation is here. I'll give a, an overview of what the Wikimedia ecosystem looks like and uh, then look at some differences in the ecosystem and then I will f zoom in on the interactions with education, specifically STEM and digital education. Okay, so uh, the ecosystem is sketched out here. We can start uh, by uh, the by Wikipedia. Uh, with Wikipedia, we have all the logos of the different projects here. They're listed here as well. They're roughly sorted by information channel. And the important thing to know is that some of them uh, exist in multiple languages, um, where the languages are separate, and some of them, like Wikidata, exist uh, also in multiple languages, but all the languages are used on the same platform. Um, altogether, this is an ecosystem of about 1,000 wikis, uh, each of which has its own rules, its own communities, its own setup. And all of this uh, is collectively referred to as the Wikimedia ecosystem. Okay, uh, with all this diversity, what are the common themes? They basically revolve about uh, around openness and integration of content, infrastructure, and communities. Um, the content is free to read and free to reuse. The software is free to read, free to reuse. And all of this is part of the broader over open movement with which it is uh, strongly intertwined. And also, uh, these this ecosystem is open to contributions from essentially anyone. So now I'm going to zoom in on 10 interactions between the Wikimedia and education ecosystems. They're listed here. I will go through them one by one and then uh, give the same list again at the end. So the first one is uh, that the, uh, the Wikimedia projects contain collaboratively curated here information about many different topics, millions of topics, and that's not limited to digital or STEM education. It's multilingual and so it facilitates introductory education in multiple ways. Um, then there are, in, in each of these uh, wiki pages, there are pointers to additional information, which might be uh, still on the same wiki, indicated by those uh, blue links here, um, or they uh, could point out to somewhere else, indicated by these external links here, uh, and some of those external links might also be uh, references and uh, yeah, all of this facilitates knowledge discovery and also deeper engagement to the point that there is a term for that kind of deep engagement, the rabbit hole. Um, another interaction is that uh, since the content has been licensed, uh, it uh, can be reused and uh, adapted and that is happening on a regular basis. So here you have an image from Wikimedia Commons that was used in a recent uh, presentation by someone uh, who didn't have anything to do with the creation of this image. And that's uh, fine because the image is openly licensed. Um, the license requires proper attribution and they tried here, but uh, it's not perfect. Um, Likewise, Wikimedia is a reuser, so that image was not generated by Wikimedia. It end, ended up on Wikimedia Commons um, by way of people affiliated with the Musée de Zoologie de Lausanne. And one of them was the photographer, the other one the uploader. And so they chose to make uh, this file available because they know um, their people will find it and then they can include it in their presentations. Um, other interactions uh, or reuse pathways are from the scholarly literature. So this um, picture is out of a scholarly paper that describes this uh, new species, which is now the smallest known frog. And then there's also various kinds of reuse and adaptation. So for instance, this um, image of a frog on the coin uh, inspired this image where the smallest known frogs have all been depicted in comparison to that coin. Um, another interaction is these uh, communities are open for participation. 
and uh, that really facilitates integration with lots of other educational activities. Um, so the main uh, feature of, of this aspect is the edit button, which exists in multiple languages. And uh, basically any page in the wiki ecosystem can be edited by anyone. There are some exceptions, but there are very few. And uh, you can normally choose which subject you want to work on or which kind of edits you want to make, when you want to ma make them, whether you want to make them without or with an account, and if, in what language you want to do it. Um, some more interactions at the um, edit level. So um, there are different ways in which you can contribute. So for editing, you can write like a story, you can uh, enter data, you can put in a table, reference, illustration, add categories, uh, work with templates and so on. And then you can update existing content, you can check existing content, you can improve uh, existing content, you can write documentation about how all this works, you can discuss any aspect of this, you can translate it and so on. And then there are a number of uh, activities that are not related directly to editing and that is like building workflows, building tools, writing code for the MediaWiki software itself, for tools and bots that interact with it, or uh, simply to generate some illustrations that uh, can be used in some articles, for instance. You can also organize events, you can reach out to communities, to the public, to experts. You can help um, basically build organizations and run them, maintain them. You can donate funds or infrastructure or similar things. Uh, you can vote in community um, decisions for instance, picture of the year or admin and steward elections, these kind of things. You can do research on any of that and you can document and teach any of it. Next round. Um, so the Wikimedia projects are web native and so they're accessible via essentially any platform. Uh, they are also uh, available offline uh, or to, at least to some extent. So uh, here is an example of what we call Internet in a Box. Uh, which uh, is basically a Wi-Fi router that can serve you Wikipedia along with OpenStreetMap and you don't need any um, the connection to the internet here. Um, it's just a local Wi-Fi. And yeah, you see here um, Wikipedia is served in the context of multiple different devices. And for most of the other Wikimedia sites, uh, there is a similar versatility in how they can be accessed. Um, the wh While it is uh, primarily a digital platform, you can combine this with other things that don't require a uh, digital context. And so, for instance, um, you uh, could participate in competitions like Wikilove's Monuments or Wikilove's Earth, where you actually go outside, you try to find those monuments or you try to find scenic uh, or interesting pictures in the wild um, and then you try to take some photographs uh, that can then hopefully illustrate a number of additional um, pages in the wiki ecosystem. You can also participate in citizen science projects for instance if you um, observed a particular species in a particular spot in time you can take a picture of it, upload it to places like Naturalist and also to Wikimedia Commons there are also some tools that facilitate interaction between those. And then, yeah, while you're uh, hiking, uh, you could actually use your offline uh, Wikipedia to check certain things, for instance, medical stuff, if someone got hurt. Um, then there uh, are more formal interactions between uh, the Wiki ecosystem and education. Um, so uh, there are a number of groups or organizations that um, have a focus that is uh, either directly education or very close to it. So one of them is a Wikipedia and education user group. Uh, another one is Wiki Edu Foundation. Um, then there is an initiative Wiki site. And uh, these activities, well, uh, they, they con conduct uh, essentially coursework or they assist in running courses that have a Wiki component. Uh, this group here um, facilitates interactions between uh, the wiki ecosystem and people engaged in education more generally. 
And yeah, if, if there is a course that has a wiki component, uh, we have tooling that um, provides metrics, uh, like what kind of edits have been made, how many and so on, and how often is this accessed. Um, yeah, and then uh, there are also games um, that um, it are interesting to a number of um, learners. And uh, so um, there are various ways in which you can engage with that ecosystem by way of games. Um, having just spoken about the games there uh, that kind of highlight the fun part, there is also an ongoing process by which the Wikimedia ecosystem is increasingly integrating itself with professional workflows um, across a range of professions. Uh, but especially close uh, to education is, of course, like research and education about uh, subjects like STEM fields. Um, one example is here uh, initiatives where um, content for scholarly journals is co-published between the journals and the wiki ecosystem. Uh, or here is a tool that basically allows to browse the scholarly literature based on its reflection in the wiki ecosystem. And here's a collection of sorting algorithms, all animated. Um, and uh, yeah, they, there is a category for them. And uh, they can be used to illustrate articles about these different ways of sorting data. Now here is the overview again. Um, I hope uh, you found this uh, useful. I picked 10 interactions here because that is a nice uh, way to frame things, but of course uh, there is much more to say and I also did not really dive into some other important aspects like the immense popularity of the Wikimedia ecosystem and particularly uh, Wikipedia, which also has uh, an influence on how we should think about educational resources and how to share them and how to standardize certain aspects of them, for instance, how we indicate licensing that I would like to thank you and to, uh, to thank the organizers and everyone who's working at the interface between the Wikimedia ecosystem and education. Thank you very much.